In this lecture, we explain how to use a Lyapunov function to estimate the region of attraction of an asymptotically stable equilibrium point. In the previous lectures, we learned how to determine asymptotic stability of an equilibrium point using linearization and Lyapunov stability theorem. According to the Lyapunov stability theorem, if there exists a neighborhood of the origin where v is positive definite and v dot is negative definite, then the origin is asymptotically stable. But this theorem doesn't specify a region from which the solutions converge to the origin. In other words, although we know that a trajectory of a system that starts sufficiently close to an equilibrium point tends to the equilibrium, the Lyapunov stability theorem doesn't give us a set of initial conditions from which the trajectories converge to the equilibrium. This set is called the region of attraction and is also known as the region of asymptotic stability, domain of attraction, and basin of attraction. We will learn in this lecture how to use a Lyapunov function to find the region of attraction for an equilibrium. One may jump to the conclusion that if a function v is positive definite on a set d containing the origin and v dot is negative definite on d, then d is a region of attraction of the origin. We will show by an example that this conjecture is not true. Consider this second order system and note that this system has an equilibrium at the origin. We define a domain D as the set of all x1 and x2 such that x1 is between minus square root of 3 and square root of 3. We then propose a function V which is positive definite on the domain D. This figure shows the values of V for different values of x1 and x2 in the set D. It can be seen that the function is only zero at the origin and is positive for all other x1 and x2 on the set D. We then calculate v dot and plot it for x1 and x2 in the set D. This function is negative definite on D, which means that it's only zero at the origin and is negative for all other points on D. So from the Lyapunov stability theorem, we obtain that the origin is asymptotically stable. We now plot the level curves for different values of x1 and x2, including the values that do not belong to the set D. The level curves are shown by black lines and the boundary of the D is shown by blue lines. Recall from the Lyapunov stability lecture that V is constant on each level curve, and since V is positive definite on D, the level curves on D have positive values and V is only zero at the origin. But outside D, we see there are level curves with negative values. Since V that is negative definite on D, the trajectories of the system can only go to inner Lyapunov surfaces. This is an example of how a trajectory of the system goes from a level set to another inner level set until it reaches the equilibrium point at the origin. But from the phase portrait of the system, we see there are trajectories that leave the set D. An example of these trajectories is highlighted in red. Although we showed that V is positive definite and V dot is negative definite on D, there was no guarantee that the trajectories starting in D will remain in D for all time. We can only conclude from the properties of V and V dot on D that V always decreases as long as the trajectory is in D. As an example, a trajectory is starting from the initial condition at x1 equals 1.3 and x2 equals 3 leaves the set D and doesn't return to the set. This problem wouldn't have happened if we had started from a compact positively invariant subset within D. A compact set omega, which is a subset of D, is positively invariant if every trajectory starting in omega stays in omega for all time. Note that the set omega is formed by a level curve or a level surface of the Lyapunov function V. All points x1 and x2 on the boundary of omega satisfy v of x1 and x2 equals 1. Since v dot is negative definite on D and therefore on omega, which is a subset of D, no trajectory starting within omega can leave this set. 
This is because V dot is negative on the boundary of omega, and therefore the trajectories on the boundary of omega go to an inner level curve, and this continues until they finally converge to the origin where V dot equals zero. Let's go back to the Lyapunov stability theorem. The theorem says that the origin is asymptotically stable if there exists a ball around the origin and a positive definite function V on the ball such that V dot is negative definite on it. We saw in the example that the set BR of zero is not necessarily a region of attraction of the origin. But we can find the region of attraction using the Lyapunov function V. It's enough to choose a compact set that's fully within the ball BR of zero and is obtained by the level curves of the Lyapunov function V. This set is defined as all x in BR of zero such that V of x is less than or equal to C and the constant C is chosen such that omega is a subset of BR of zero. We are usually interested in the largest set omega that we can determine. So we choose the largest value for the constant C. In general, finding the exact region of attraction analytically might be difficult or even impossible. However, Lyapunov functions can be used to estimate the region of attraction. As a final comment, note that although linearization and Lyapunov method can both be used to determine the stability of equilibrium points, Lyapunov method has the advantage that a region of attraction can be obtained from the level curves of the Lyapunov function used for the stability analysis.